Hello, my friends. So today I do want to talk to you about something very important. It seems that I always have important items to discuss, but um, on this topic, I have been thinking for the past few months and even um, before all the holidays started uh, the past year, I was thinking about it and it was on my mind, it was on my heart. And I was, um, as soon as we hit uh, January, I was like, really, this has to happen. And um, so basically today I want to talk about Daniel's fast and why we as a family, as a um, community here, as our church, are starting a Daniel's fast on February 1st. And also we want to have you join if you prefer, if you would like. So I will give a few reasons why you should do it. Um, I have a few prophecies that I will read. And also I will give you the benefits, the physical benefits and the spiritual benefits of this fast. Uh, I did, did um, had this fast in the past and I really liked it. Um, I was very amazed how easily you can do it how anyone can do it, even if you are a child, even if you are an adult, um, anyone really can do this. Because it's not abstaining from food completely, like a usual fast is. But um, it is um, abstaining from certain foods. And so today I want to talk about that and kind of tell you uh, why it's really has to start, why we all have to do it. Um, basically, the number one reason is to prepare to what's coming. And then this number two is to hear the word, the voice of God. Um, when you fast, you even abstaining from certain foods, you are submitting your body, you're submitting your um, sinful tendencies excuse me. Um, so basically, all you have to do is really follow this um, Daniel's fast. And you'll be amazed. And I want to hear from you if you do have tried it before, or if you are going to be first time trying it, or if you felt it wasn't worth it, just let me know what you think about it. Because as I said, I did it in the past, and I really liked it. It was very easy for me to follow. And it was very um, beneficial physically and spiritually. Um, and nowadays, with everything is happening and everything that's being prophesied, all the things that are coming, there's really not a better time to start fasting. If you're able to fast without water, without food, for any amount of time, I believe it's very beneficial. That's the most beneficial, really. But knowing us, how we are, um, all of us are very busy working, children, a lot of moms are breastfeeding and we have little ones on hand. So it's really hard for us to abstain from food completely. By doing this Daniel's fast, what Daniel did, um, it is um, actually in the Bible. So it was written in Daniel 10. If you want to read about it, it's very interesting. He abstained from um, meat, from uh, good bread, and he abstained from wine. Uh, what it means, it's really um, animal products, uh, white flour, um, bread type products, and also um, sweets. Wine is more like a sweet deal. <clears throat> so... First, I do want to read my prophecies that we had, we have received er earlier this month. And um, I just want to show you why it's so important to fast. There's no better time than now. So let's listen to this prophecy and see what you guys think. Um, the first one, I believe, was in California. And it said there that this is a year of great changes. Excuse me. <clears throat> I have a sore throat, so bear with me. 
Um, so this year is a, gr a year of great changes. There will be scary things that will happen upon this earth. Many will be scared, many will be afraid, and many will start seeking refuge. Um, remember, this is, was from for California, but I believe it pertains to all of us, if we, even if we don't live in California. People will be calling my name, and they will be asking God, please save us and protect us, because there is a huge, huge um, calamity that's coming. Um, so... Uh, I'm just going to read the whole thing. A lot of people are very um, laid back. And they are still very... Um, they do not worry about anything. They still think everything will get fine, will get be fine. And everything will go... Will be just fine. And you don't have to change anything. Um, but their their hearts will get... When they see what is happening, when they see what's ha what's coming they will start seeking, they will start seeking help. But only the people who are under my cover right now will find my refuge. Not everyone will find it. Even people will be in great turmoil, in great... Um, they will be very scared. But blessed are the people who hear my voice. Blessed are those who are seeking me now. They will find refuge. A lot of people will cry out. And they will cry because it will be too late. They have forgotten my ways, the ways of the Lord. But when the hard times come to this earth, they will seek my face, but it may be too late. So this is why I tell you today, seek my face. Do not be sleepy and uncaring. Stop sleeping. Stop being... Um, I guess um, oh, the best word to use would be um, not paying attention to God and just seeking your own pleasures. And he says, start seeking, start praying for your children now. Um, it is time to seek me, says the Lord. Before too long, my people will be shaken. Everyone will be shaken. Only those who are standing on the rock will be able to stand. So be, um, stand Stand up for the Lord and bless his name, even, the, even because the huge day of judgment is coming. Okay, so that was for California. And this one was, I think it was for all the people. Um, so it kind of doesn't tell us which state it pertains, so I'm kind of going to give it to all of us. It says, um, here says the Lord, Oh, my people, I see your heart. I see how you are um, very lazy in your ways. You do not seek my face. You do not seek, you don't read my Bible. You do not pray. Um, a lot, some people are thinking and wondering where they should be going, while others are very um, stating there's nowhere to go. We're, we'll be fine as we are right here. But the Holy Spirit is stating there will be big changes coming. There was a big calamity that will come to this earth. Um, I do want my people to seek me as you should. If you do seek me with all your heart, you will find me. If you seek me with tears and with cries and with prayer, I will give you my... Um, help in the time of need. But you do need to read my Bible. You need to read my word. Only the person who seeks my face will not be scared. 
but everyone will shake in their boots. So, my people, tell everyone to start seeking my face, because I will come soon. I want my people to seek me and to have the Holy Spirit fill them up. I want them to know that um, I am ready to help you in your time of need. Okay, so in the last prophecy I want to read is, um, I think this is the one that's really, really important. This is the one that talks about um, what, why we have to fast, why it's the time to, for fasting. And here what it says, um, here I tell my people, I am telling you my word. I am telling you and asking you to start praying, to start fasting for this earth, start fasting for this land. Because soon war, the war will spread. And but the angel of God will protect his people. So my people do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of things that are coming. Um, the, the fire of war will spread to other countries. And it will come to many different lands. For, before, for now the time of peace have been lifted. And there will be a lot of conflicts upon the land. And there will be lots of other countries um, upsetting each other, I guess. But it all has to be how it says in my word. Okay, so this is basically why I figured we have to fast. Um, in my spirit, I feel like we have to fast no matter what the prophecy says. Even if uh, some people do not believe in prophecies, which is fine. But if you, in your heart, everyone have to listen to your heart. If you feel like there's something coming, even if something is not happening, but you feel in your spirit that there's a time of prayer, of prayer, that there needs to be a time of fasting, then we should definitely do it. So basically, that's my call to ask you to do it. And why we're going to do the Daniel's Fast starting February 1st. It will be um, preparing for everything that's coming. It has great benefits for our physical body because our body will get rid of sugars. It will get rid of white, white bread, of meat, the toxins. Everything will get rid of that. We'll be eating cleanly vegetables, fruits, grains, seeds. Basically, you can do any soups, any salads, smoothies, juices, home fresh juices, water, tea. Everything has to be from the ground. It has to be like natural state. Um, which what, what do I mean by that? I mean that it's not supposed to be processed. If something is processed in the bag, it's not good for you. You can probably still buy a whole grain bread without uh, yeast in it which is fine. I know there's some good breads without um, yeast and without um, all the chemicals. You can still have that. I know there's some natural tortillas that you can have um, instead of bread because in Daniel's fast, you're not supposed to eat white, fresh bread, which is means a bread that is using e yeast, yeast, and that's kind of um, not very good for you. So what we, uh, we usually get like um, whole wheat tortillas without yeast. We have um, um, vegetarian tortillas that we can use. Um, there's different um, flatbreads that you can use that are very um, healthy for you. Um, very healthy crackers you can buy. Um, so those things, you, we always make a big pot of soup. You can still use olive oil. You can use different... Um, onion, garlic, all those things. We love smoothies. You can make any kind of smoothies you like. Those are very beneficial for um, morning breakfast and stuff like that. 
We also love cereal, which are like grains uh, in not actual dry cereal, which is bad for you, but the cereal that is like oatmeal. And you can cook it up, you can cook oatmeal, you can cook any kind of grain that you like. With um, You can put some olive oil or you can just use um, salt. And um, We try not to use butter, we try not to use milk, but basically it's just um, beneficial for us to do that. So I hope everybody tries this. I hope everybody, it will work out for anyone. Excuse my little child that's at my door and yelling for me to open the door. Um, hopefully I did not forget anything. If I did, let me know in the comments below. But if you have, there are so many different ways you can cook for yourself on Daniel's Fast. We, our country has been doing this for many years. Uh, look up Daniel's Fast recipes, look up different things you can have for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner, so you won't be starving. You'll be just changing out the way we eat. And um, like I was um, doing it before, and like I'm craving sweets, I want something sweet. But I know, I tell myself, this is for my benefit to sustain and sustain from that, and um, instead of eating sweets, we eat something more healthier, like fruit. We, we can have a honey that's natural. We can have a more better uh, quality sweets, which are natural. Um, so let me have my child hold on a sec. Sorry, bad. Sorry, so sorry. Um, so, as I was saying, just basically try to limit any processed foods and try to eat more natural. Um, on Daniel's fast, you do not eat any kind of animal products, no breads, and no wine, which is sweets. So, try not to eat uh, processed sweets. Um, the, but the ones, the sweets that we eat are natural. <clears throat> like I was saying, natural, which which is like um, honey, molasses. You can have uh, sweet things, natural things. Try not to eat a lot of them because our bodies tend to get um, used to it. But I think if you if you have to have it, then you can have it. Um, and also just eating lots of uh, whole grains, um, lentils are very good, um, whole um, different legumes and stuff. <clears throat> so like I said, there's many recipes online, so feel free to search and do this. I'm hoping a lot of people will join in. Already I'm having a lot of, of our uh, groups on Telegram have already applied and they're doing it. So I'm very happy. You're welcome to join my Telegram online as well, uh, my Telegram group, and I'll have a link below. Um, hopefully everything will go well. Take care, my friends. God bless.